What's up, folks? It's your boy Yat, and today we picked up the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Light. I know, I know we're kind of late to the game. And I was debating on picking up the Switch since 2020 January. And you know, it was sold out and all the situation was going on. And the next-gen consoles came out. And I picked up the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. So why then did I pick the Switch Lite in 2021 when we are in talks of a new potential Switch Pro coming out very soon near the end of 2021? And there's another half of the population coming around and saying, you know what, yo, the new Switch Pro is not coming around in 2021. Maybe 2022 at the best case scenario just because of chip shortages is going around but whatever the case the switch pro coming out it's coming out whether it's 2021 or 2022 why did i go and pick up the nintendo switch Lite in 2021 let's talk well i figured it would make no sense to pick up a switch console which i probably want to upgrade as soon as the new switch pro comes out however the switch Lite allows me to get a taste of what the switch has to offer and it satisfies a small group of folks who want to pick this up on the go play some games and offers extreme portability this is as close as we get to the psp we all love and remember and so here it is the switch and this would be my first ever look at a physical switch years after its release pause only 3.6 percent of the viewers are subscribed to this channel and if you love this content be sure to subscribe smash that like button and share this button to your friends and family to get this video exploding on youtube so i went ahead and grabbed a turquoise nintendo switch so let's get this open just by the feels of it the box is extremely light i'm just guessing we have the console and we have the controller you know everyone probably knows what's already in there let's open it up Bring it up. Okay. The box. And right off the bat, we have the switch. Lift this flap up, however. Yeah, right there. Bam. Okay, so we have the switch right here, which is extremely light. Maybe that's why they called it the switch light. Get it? No, oh, God! Yeah. But underneath here, we probably have what is this? Some like documents. We don't care about and then we have the charger and just the box taking a look at the charger take it out okay and now let's take out the switch So here it is, and this really lives up to its name. It fits snug into your hands, it feels extremely lightweight, coming in about six tenths of a pound. So let's break this down. In addition to an exceptional weight management, the Switch Lite has a 720p display just like its bigger brother. Although it's got a 5.5 inch 720 display versus a 6.2 inch 720p display on the Switch. As far as battery goes, the Switch Lite houses a 3,570 milliamp battery life, which can juice out three to seven hours of gameplay. So why the range? Well, it comes down to what game you're playing and what your settings are. Specifically, brightness can be significant in determining your play time on a single charge. So what does the battery life mean in regards to real life usage? Well, once again, let me emphasize this is a portable console and it's meant to be portable on the go. Its design factor and weight management all function to provide you an on the go gaming experience. This is ideal for gamers who just want to pick this up in between activities and just game. But if you're looking to game for continuous hours, then this would not be the ideal console for you. The Switch Lite also has a 32 gigabyte internal storage capacity, which compared to any other console is completely horrible. But the current library Switch games do not take up much of a space. Now, one thing that I love about the Switch Lite is the build quality. The Joy-Cons and the D-pad uh, and all the buttons feel very solid and the entire body is covered in plastic, which does not worry me of cracks if in the worst case scenario, I do drop the Switch Lite. So I also picked up Mario Odyssey today. It's the game on this. Let's get this open. There you go. Peel this, peel this, peel this. Come on. Let's go. There you go. Gonna go ahead and turn this on. How's oh, I'm so excited to try it out. Right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Get that click, get that click. Step the menu. Anyways, enough talk. Let's get this started up and set up the switch. So the Switch Lite is all completely set up when we have the game loaded and ready to play. One other thing I noticed that is really cool is you can be playing any game and you hit the power button on the top and it will put the Switch Lite to sleep. 
you don't even have to pause the game really you just do that and the game goes to sleep and to come back to later you just hit the power button once again tap a button three times and bam you're right back into the game and the battery didn't rain really and that in my opinion is a really cool feature so here it is and so do i think the switch Lite is worth it well it comes down to this question do you want to get the new switch pro when it comes out well if yes then don't buy the switch that is out on the market right now instead it may be off for a switch Lite as well Unless, of course, you don't care too much for things like a better screen and more battery life. And second, do you want a portable console that you can take on the go? And if you're not so much of a serious gamer, but want to pick up and play once in a while throughout the day, well, then the Switch Lite might be the perfect console for you. Overall, if you're looking to buy a Switch Lite, go ahead. You won't regret it. It offers all the fun Nintendo has to offer in a compact and portable form factor. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share this around to your friends and family, and subscribe to join the Y Nation. Because why not?